Questions 14 and 15 in the ACER green paper. Question 14. By calculating the oxidation numbers of all the carbon atoms in each of the following reactions, determine which of them is a redox reaction. So we have um, we have to find the oxidation number of carbon both before and after the reaction. And we have to see whether there is a change in oxidation number of the carbon atom. Because if that happens, then it is a redox reaction. So um, to figure out the oxidation number of carbon, we have to use a couple of rules. So this is the way that I um, learned how to do oxidation numbers. Um, there's a lot of ways, uh, but this is the way that I sort of learned it just by memorizing these few rules. Um, there are a couple more rules uh, that you might need to know. So I definitely suggest looking up how to do, um, how to calculate oxidation numbers at home. But uh, for the moment, this is all you need to know to answer this question. So the most important one uh, rules are the ones that I've underlined. So one, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one, um, but minus one when combining less electronegative elements. So it's usually plus one. And the oxidation number of oxygen is usually minus two. And the other important rule is this one. The sum of the oxidation numbers of all the atoms in a neutral compound is zero. So if we add up all of the um, oxidation numbers in say this molecule is always going to add up to zero. Okay, so let's try and figure out the oxidation number for carbon in A. So first off, um, in, this is a neutral compound. So therefore the total oxidation number is going to be zero if we add up all the oxi individual oxidation numbers. So oxygen usually minus two. Therefore, if overall it's going to add up to zero, carbon has to be plus two. So carbon is plus two initially. Afterwards, so we've got four hydrogens. Hydrogen um, has a plus one oxidation number. So plus four due to hydrogen. Oxygen usually minus two. So overall, if this is going to add up to zero, if we add all the oxidation numbers and it's going to add up to zero, therefore carbon has to have an oxidation number of minus two. So carbon has gone from an oxidation number of plus two to minus two. That is a change in the oxidation number of carbon. Therefore, for 14, A is a redox reaction. Question 15. According to the rules listed above, the oxidation number of a carbon atom that has only one carbon atom bonded to it can be. So there are sort of three things that can happen to carbon's oxidation number when it bonds to an atom. If um, that bond is to an atom that is more electronegative than carbon, then carbon's uh, oxidation number will increase by one. If carbon is bonding to an atom that is less electronegative than it, then carbon's um, oxidation number will go down by one. And if carbon bonds to carbon, then the uh, uh, oxidation number will be unchanged. So we've got this central carbon and it's attached to only one other carbon. So therefore, in each of these um, other three bonds, one of two things can happen. Either carbon can bond to an atom that is more electronegative than it, and therefore um, its uh, oxidation number will increase by one, or it can bond to an atom that is less electronegative, and therefore its oxidation number will go down by one. So we get this situation here, where um, depending on each of these atoms, it can go up by one or down by one. So let's assume that um, all the atoms that the uh, carbon is bonding to, aside from this one carbon, uh, all the atoms are more electronegative than carbon. So in this case, in each spot, um, carbon would gain one as an oxidation number. So therefore, the overall oxidation number for carbon will be plus three. Now, if we have the inverse and all of those, um, all the atoms that this carbon is bonding to in these three spots are less electronegative than carbon, then carbon's overall oxidation number will be minus three. So what happens if uh, the electronegativity of, the, of one of these changes? 
So instead of having plus one, plus one, plus one, we have a minus one. So what's this going to do to carbon's overall um, uh, oxidation number? Well, we go from plus three to plus one. So every time we switch out a more electronegative atom for a less electronegative atom, so we go from plus one to minus one, we're going to subtract two from our overall oxidation number for carbon. So in this case, we've got two, um, two atoms that are more electronegative than carbon, bonded to carbon, and only one, which is less. Our overall oxidation number for carbon is going to be plus one. And if we change out another plus one for, an, for a minus one, what we're going to get is an overall oxidation number of minus one. So therefore, all the possible oxidation numbers are listed here. So plus three, plus one, minus one, minus three. And therefore, the correct answer for question 15 is C. Any odd integer from plus three to minus three.